Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. Test run number one. Rotary Spark Gap. car how about that not bad so this is uh building a rotary gap here i'm uh designing this uh we're gonna put it in the java calculator and i'm going to show you guys on uh how to build these and uh pretty much um this is plexiglass these are all bolts Take you around, take you around for a spin. These are all, um, let me see, these are all carriage bolts. Yeah, carriage bolts. You got that? So that'll give you a nice swath of connection here. Oh, something else I want you guys to see. Ooh, it moved. Doesn't like that vibration. Oh yeah. Starting to collect some metals and some other assorted things and we're gonna jump in some Wilhelm Reich layered materials, organic and inorganic materials. This is called bismuth. This is uh, tin right here. I got some other cool ones coming in. We'll talk about those when we start melting them and stuff. And then we got edge wheel here. And we got my glasses on for two things. One protection with the plexiglass. And two is on my corral here. Um, this is great. I can uh, add capacitance, take away capacitance. And also I can work all the connection around here and and get any coil that I have I can bring in the tune um, in my corral here which is amazing I can tune uh, so I'm working on different uh, different coils and I got this one here which I'm proud of this is all you can see it's all um, resonated <laughs> a good word to use I guess it's got resin on it it's about a quarter inch thick I'll never ruin this wire. At least there I won't. And where it comes out at the ends, so you try to keep that going in the direction it's supposed to go. And you don't want electricity coming through here and all of a sudden doing 90 degrees. It's going to jump out that 90, especially when you get the voltage up there. But anyway, peace out. Oh, further update on my balloon test. You guys ready? I'm excited. You know why I'm excited? I just ordered a eight foot weather balloon. Yes, I did. Eight foot weather balloon. And what are we going to do with an eight foot weather balloon? You're asking yourself. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to build a launch pad back here. Right on down there. Yep. Right where my canine dog is. We're going to build a launch pad. Eight foot helium balloon. First, we're going to have to do some pull strength on it. Right? We'll do some pull strength. Yeah. She agrees on the pull strength. We don't want to lose it. I'll have, uh, I'll have, uh, 1,250 feet of nylon kite string hooked up to those big kite reels. I can reel that son of a bitch. We're gonna make a, got some theories I wanna go over with you. We're gonna make a, a list of uh, 
the experiments that I want to do. And if any of you guys out there have uh, any good input or list, leave a comment, and uh, we'll try out possibly your 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 test you want. But uh, so far, in theory, from what I'm hearing out there, from what I'm understanding more about the environment, the higher you go off the ground, I mean by inch. It, it uh, decreases the uh, insulation in the air. And uh, we're going to see what uh, 50 feet, 100 feet, 150 feet, 200 feet, 250, 300. And I'm going to have up to 1,200 feet with this weather balloon. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, this is my theory. Pinky, shush! My theory is. That we need to get electricity to move up there, okay? And in order to do this, we're going to create a difference in potential. Now, the difference in potential are going to be uh, layers of uh, of material. And it'll be organic, inorganic material. And what I want to do is uh, I got some graphene coming in. And I feel that the lattice layout of the graphene is shaped in a uh, hexagon. So everything is in sixes. So what you have there with the sixes, with the six points of the hexagon, you got energy chasing energy through that. It's showing up in ice crystals. It's, it's, it's telling us something that uh, just nobody's getting. You know what I mean? So I want to create these layers of using a film that I make with that graphene and uh, create layers of organic, inorganic material so that um, the graphene will allow the space in between for electrons to move through the matter. Oof. So uh, this is one of my tests that I want to try, and that's getting it up above certain level of feet to where the insulation's a little less, and uh, we're able to move electrons better through through air when air's thinner. And um, I'm going to create these plates, and these plates uh, will be layered in uh, increment amounts, and also with increment uh, with different metals, which is inorganic, and different. Uh, organic layers and I think possibly just possibly the organic material would be the graphene but the graphene is carbon which is organic but I think it needs to be in the space in between organic and inorganic to be a collector like a superconductor so anyway, leave your comments, guys. Got on some, got my 14 nano farads. Got Vinny, Vinny, want to say hi? Atta boy. Yeah, he's like, what the heck, Dad? Well, you guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Stay tuned. Eight-foot weather balloon coming down. Uh, now this is going to be the rotary gap, and we're going to put that in series with the uh, spark gap. And we'll have the spark gap distance uh, set to what we have set up here with the rotary gap. And uh, we're going to put two stationary electrodes. This is a 3600 RPM motor. Um, we'll have a late, uh, eight um, rotating electrodes, which will give me, uh, uh, with one stationary, will give me 60 uh times per second okay so I'll be able to pulse it 60 now with two I'll be able to pulse it uh, 120 with two stationaries and with three stationary I'd be able to pulse it 180 times per second looking forward to it I'll talk to you guys later peace out